Okay, we have here another interesting integral from MIT integration B2024. This was regular season number three. We had the integral from zero to one, x squared times one minus x to the 2024 dx. Okay, I know exactly two different ways to do this. The first one would just be a u substitution right here. The reason this helps so much is because with one minus x to the 2024, multiplying it out is not really an option because that would take all day. Well, when you do this, you can get a value for x, x equals one minus u. Well, when you plug one minus u in there, squaring that is not really a problem. And then u is just u to the 2024. So then multiplying it all, you can just do power rule and it's not too bad. But what I wanted to do here instead was just notice that this is in exactly the right form to use the beta function. All right, so we have our formula for the beta function over here to the right. We're in exactly the right form. We get the same bounds here going from zero to one. We've got our x with an exponent. We got one minus x. Now the thing what we need to do is we just need the c1, c2 value, and then we have our solution over here in terms of the gamma function, so we really just need to find this and this. Well, getting this c1 and c2 value, that part's really easy because now for like here, when we have x squared, we're comparing it to this. I can just make this, I can get this into exactly this form by just rewriting two. Let's just rewrite two as three minus one, and then lining this up with our formula, the z1 value is gonna be just three. And then here, I'll do the same thing on 2024, just rewriting that. So for 2024, I can write it as 2025 minus one. And then so for our Z2 value, that's just gonna be 2025. Then all we need to do from here is take this Z1 and Z2 value and plug it into this formula over here in terms of the gamma function. So we're just gonna have gamma of Z1, which is three, times gamma of this, which is 2025. And this is gonna be all over gamma of the sum of these two. So this is gonna be 2028. And then from here, in order to just evaluate the gamma function and get this in terms of some kind of number, we have this formula to get the gamma function in terms of the factorial. We can use gamma of n plus one. When n is an integer, this is gonna be the same thing as n factorial. So coming over here for gamma of three, using this, we can write gamma of three as two factorial. We can use gamma of 2025, subtracting one, we can write this as 2024 factorial. And then for gamma 2028, subtract one, and we're gonna get 2027 factorial. But what I wanna do for 2027 factorial, I wanna write this out, all the terms. Just keep writing this, but I wanna stop at 2024, so I'll write the rest of it as 2024 factorial. And of course, the reason I did that is just because I want this cancellation here, so I'll cancel this with this. And then let's just extend this, but now for two factorial, two factorial is just two, so let me just write a two here in the numerator. And so for my final solution for this, we just get two over 2027 times 2026 times 2025, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Pretty straightforward example of the beta function. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.